What's going on, YouTube? JD here with the next episode of JD Plays Feed, the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. And I think I'm on episode like 24. And it's time to improve that lovely, lovely Ender Quarry we made yesterday. So, to do this, we're going to need to make a few things that I do not have on the to do list. I've got most of it, but not everything. We're going to make this QED, but to do that, we're also going to need some of these Enderflux crystals. So, Enderflux crystals. And along with that, we're probably going to want to start making a couple of these Ender markers. Ender marker. So, let's update the to do list and save that. And let's just dive right into this. Now, what I'm actually going to start off on right off the bat are these quarry upgrades. Well, I, I actually I'm not because I forgot. <laughs> I want to start off with the quarry upgrades, but we can't do that. So let's get let's get the QED going real quick. All right, for QED, we need some interfused obsidian. We've already been making this and using it in our magical wood recipe. So this is nothing new. So let's step over to the grid and get started on all this. So under inf. Okay, QED then. Let's do it this way. I'm going to be rude about it. So let's grab, like, that much of this stuff. Clear the grid. All right. <clears throat> uh, I think I've got some resonant machine frames, but I'm going to have to check. There's my two uh, double layer capacitors done. Resonant machine frames right here, ready to go. Okay. So everything else should be in here. We got all that. I just put those in there. Don't give me that business. Cut. There we are. Bam, bam. And there's our QED. Nice, simple recipe, right? Uh, if you don't remember how to make these, it's just blaze powder combined with uh, ender pearls, and the machine frame comes from the assembly table. So there's our QED. Now, to go along with those, we're going to want the uh, ender flux crystals. Why is that not showing? Am I not spelling something right, or is it just failing at the search? Oh, there's a dash. Alright, Enderflux Crystal. Four more of these and a couple of these basic gates along with the diamond edge computation matrix. So let's get that made. Okay, what do we... Oh, we don't have the quartz. Alright, we're going to need some quartz. We're going to need to burn some quartz up. So let's just take this real quick and probably do eight of them. Sounds good to me. Ah, uh, that's not how you do it. That's fine. I need burnt quartz. I think it's burnt quartz, wasn't it? Ender. Right here. What is this? Burnt quartz, yeah. You take a block of quartz and you burn it. But you can't do it in the alloy smelter. So we need to make some more blocks of quartz now. So let's we'll throw this in here. And I think you can cook these into blocks of quartz or something. Let me make sure. Or do you just combine them? I may just combine them. So I always forget this one. There we go. Block supports. Okay. So we need a more standard cooking method. So what we'll do is we'll just put this into furnace mode. And that should solve the problem, I think. There we go. I'm going to get a few more of those right quick. Hopefully. How many of these do we need? We need four per recipe. So I need about... Five more of them. Come on. They're in my box. Bam. Okay, so now let's try to make this. Boom. And that gives me three. I only want two. The rest can clear out and go back. Alright, so from there we should be able to do this. Now I have those made, but I may not have put them into the network. So let me let me go find out. There they are. Uh, let's toss these books out for a second. All right, here's this, and let's put these in there, not like that, cancel that one, okay, or just clear everything out, you know, that works, because everything should have already been ready to go by this point, seriously, Oh, 
wood that I need in infused stone. That's it. All right, that gives us two of those. Okay, so these little Interflux crystals, along with this QED, they, they go together. You put the QED down, and we're just going to stick it right here. And every time you look at this, so if you look at the top, it says Quacky Ender Device. If we look away and we look back, now it says Quasar Entanglement Device. If we look away and we look back, now it says Quantum Entanglement Diviner. Its name will change every time you look at it, but it will always be something QED, and it's meant to be a quantum device. It requires these Interflux crystals to actually do any crafting, and the more of those you have, the faster it will craft. And so while we've got this going on, we're going to go ahead and craft a couple of these Ender Markers. So let's just pull these all out, because we, we're not actually going to... These aren't going to be crafted in the table anymore, so we're going to need some Ender Pearls. We're going to take three of them. And then we're waiting on this to update. Perfect. So I think it takes three. Uh, ender markers for this. I don't remember. I could be screwing up, but you know what? Who cares? All right, and that's gonna start crafting, and it's nice and slow because we've only got two of these things. So I'm gonna let that start building up now. Why we needed to make that is because for our ender quarry, I would like to make some upgrades. I would like to make a silk touch, and I would like to make a quarry speed upgrade. Primarily, the silk touch is my big concern. To make these, we're going to need some redstone, a golden pickaxe that has silk touch on it, and a quarry upgrade base. The quarry upgrade base requires more of this burnt quartz and more of these inter-infused uh, stones to do. So we'll need a total of two of those to get the two upgrades that I am interested in. So let's get everything prepared to make those, because it's going to take these guys like a whole minute to produce. So there's one done. And I've got four of these, so we know we're going to need some more of those. So let's go ahead and get started on that. We'll just set some of this to the side, because that stuff's useful anyways. We're, we're going to always be needing to use things like that. And then I think I've got some burnt quartz left. Is that right? Or do I need to make more of that as well? No, I got some. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll grab this and the ender infused right there. Oh, so slow. All right, what do we need to go with it? Well, let's talk about that golden pick for a second of Silk Touch. So how am I going to get that? Well, the way I usually do it, or would do it, and the way most people would do it, is you're going to come start using some of this experience up. You're going to pull out 10 of these at a time and get 30 experience, and you're going to put something like a book in your enchanting table, toss it in there, click the 30-point enchantment, and bam, we got a power 4 enchant. I'm going to warn you right now. You're going to make... A crap ton of enchantments some that are super useful and some that are not so useful or you could get lucky and get it on your first try take my advice use it on golden axes instead golden axes get far higher enchantability than any other item in the game and your chance for getting silk touch on them is much higher so here I have a golden pickaxe this was the very last thing that I enchanted after all this other stuff you see and I finally got one but it's also got efficiency four. And I'm not entirely sure that that will work in the recipe. We'll check real quick. So let's come back over here. This should be just about done. If not, we're gonna plug it in anyways. All right, it's done. So ender quarry, we need these. So it's just the block of this with this lovely stuff around it. And we just need two of them. So let's uh, pull the rest out as there is no need and I don't want to be wasteful right now all right so pop that in and put them all back clear the grid all right so we could we don't have to actually go that route we don't have to try it with that we can make a disenchanting table there are two of them there's an auto disenchanter and then there's the disenchanter I think I'm gonna go after this disenchanter and this comes from draconic evolution and it requires some draconic draconium ingots which I happen to have some diamonds and some gold. We need two of these. So let's pop this in. Let's pull two of these draconic cores out. Okay. Then we're going to click back in here. And from there, it just takes an enchanting table. Well, we can make an enchanting table. At least I hope we can make an enchanting table. Uh, what am I missing? Book. Took all my books out. My books are over here. Okay. We have to mass produce some books soon. Uh, 
All right. So we need to make one of these. There we go. Got one of those now. Clear the table. All right. We need some kind of an enchanted book. Well, I got plenty of those. Let's grab a crappy one. Uh, I don't know if that's crappy or not, but we're going to use it. Unstable. I always forget what unstable is for. All right. Everything else I should have on hand. So here's this. Here's this. Uh, here are these two. Book. There's one. M. There's an emerald and an emerald. I. There's my two eyes. And that gives us our disenchanter. Okay. Now for now, let's just go pop this down over here by my enchanter. I'm not sure if this thing takes power. I don't know. We're about to find out. But let's take this. And let's grab a book. It's been a long time since I've done this. And I, th it, I think it may take the enchants off uh, first come, first serve type of thing. So it's pr processing, maybe? There was no. Okay, we, we got a silk touch, but cool. Weapon damage says 40%, but it didn't do any. Okay, so let's take that back out. And that was easy enough. <laughs> So I can now start stripping enchants that I want off of different various items. There's zero cost. Okay, well, we'll pull that off too. So there's our efficiency. So now we need to, we've got this golden axe. We need to go put this silk touch back on. Uh, that's going to happen the way it's always happened, via an anvil. So we'll run back here. Now, my anvil is hidden behind this wall because I've been tinkering around with doing different things with my base. Uh, I think I've come to the decision that I'm probably going to end up moving uh, my base. I do not want that on that. I want that on that. So we need six levels to be able to do that. All right, we can do that. Let's go grab those levels real quick. So I'm, I'm planning a new base right now. Um, I'm actually doing it in Excel. I found that Excel is a fantastic place to plan out bases if you set your uh, spreadsheet up correctly. Uh, you can even import textures. Well, maybe I'll do a tutorial over that sometime. <laughs> All right, so golden pickaxe and some silk touch goodness right there. And there we go. We've got silk touch. Well, that's awesome. Now, I did also get some other really, 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 really nice enchants that I am probably almost guaranteed to want to use. And let's find them real quick. I got one called good old Soulbound on something. I don't think it shows. We'll have to find it. Soulbound. And I also got a Last Stand 2 book somewhere and an XP Boost 3 book. So I got some really uh, good books. There's Last Stand 2. That one's pretty awesome. It's actually really, really awesome. XP Boost 3, that's nice. Alright, I guess all my Soulbound stuff is still just downstairs. That's okay. We'll go get it in a little while. Oh, I had it typed in wrong. <laughs> Actually, we can get down the stairs real quick. Let's just go down there. Not the garden. The storage. One of these guys is going to have Soulbound. Right there. Soulbound 1. Alright. Let's take this. Go back to the workshop. So, once I have some books, I can come in here and pull Soulbound 1 hopefully off of this. Let's see if, let's see if it's going to let me if it's actually going to kill this item. So... Yeah, the next one will kill that item, but it's going to get me Soulbound, so I'll take it. Because there's Soulbound. That's what I wanted. Alright, let's take that. Let's grab like 30 levels right quick. And I don't remember if you can or if you can't, but just as an example, I think you can soul bind your jetpack, if I remember right. Let's see. Yeah, right there. For six, I could soul bound this jetpack. I am not going to do that because we're getting ready to actually uh, upgrade my jetpack. So there'd be no point in doing that right now. But just as a, as a notification, you know, an update to you guys if you have it. You can soul bind your jetpack. You can also get an enchant for it called fuel efficiency, 
which cuts down on how fast it drains fuel from what I understand. And I think I've got a fuel efficiency three book inside of all these other books. All right, so on the to-do list, we've got the Interflux crystals done. We've got the Ender Marker. We've got the, we're ready to work on the quarry upgrades, starting with the Silk Touch upgrade here. So let's come over here and get the base. There we go. And we want to do Silk right here. And this is everything we need. So there's the pickaxe. Here is the ender quarry. We need some red stonium there and there. And that gives us our silk touch upgrade. Awesome. That's beautiful. Let's go back and look at the speed upgrades. Now we have to start at tier one and work our way through the tiers. And the faster we make this machine, the uh, more costly it's going to become. Now we need a diamond pick of efficiency one for this. So do I have an efficiency one? That's an efficiency four. Let's see, hopefully I've got efficiency one. If not, I'm gonna have to make one. There's an efficiency four binding for probably a pretty low level enchant. I wonder if efficiency four will work. We got a bunch of them, let's make one. Let's find out. Uh, what else do we need for that? So we're going after speed upgrades here and we're gonna need a fortune one for speed two. I know I've got those. All right, speed upgrades. Speed upgrades are actually kind of easy. We can make a lot of these. And these are used in any of the extra utilities pipes, by the way. So pretty cool little device. All right, let's see. We're going to need one of those for tier one. Do we need one for tier two? Need one for tier two. And then we need something new, stack upgrades, for tier three. So we're going to have to make this recipe one more time. There we go. All right. Now we're cool. Now we can clear it out. All right. So for speed up one, where did you go? Speed up one right here. This guy. All right. So now we just need the diamond pickaxe. So do we have some sticks? Sticky icky ickies. Pop those in there. Let's see some diamonds. Three of those. All right. Let's throw that seed out. Let's go throw some, uh, some enchants on this and see if this is going to work or not. Um, it may not. It wouldn't surprise me at all if it doesn't. Because the game likes to treat me dirty like that. So efficiency 4 on a diamond pickaxe. Hurrah. Let's run back over here. I need to eat something. We're going to eat some of this. That new slime drop. Okay. So stick this in here, put this in here, and put these to either side, and let's see what happens. It does allow you to do it. It doesn't have to be level one. It just has to be efficiency. So we'll take that. So we can now use this in the upgrade to make a tier two. A tier two takes efficiency three and another diamond pickaxe. Okay. I think we can do this. Pull out another diamond pickaxe. Let's get another. I should move that anvil back to here. It would be an intelligent move on my part. But we never claimed me to be an intelligent guy, did we? Aha. There's an efficiency three right there, as a matter of fact. Okay, so put that in there, put that in there. Chamber cost five, I'll take it. Uh, let's get my actual pickaxe and let's go ahead and move this. And we'll just throw this big bad mana jamma down right there. Alright, so now we want to clear this. We want to use this to make this. So we'll just shift click everything and of course it won't go in because why would life be that easy on us, right? Pull that out, there we go. Ender Quarry Speed Upgrade 2. For the final tier, we are going to need two Efficiency 5 upgrades. I don't think I have any Efficiency 5 upgrades. Let me look. We've got four, four, three, four, three, three, four, 
four and fortune three. So right now I can't make that one. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do some more digging through my uh, recipes to get it. But we do we can now double the speed of our ender quarry, and that's pretty nice. So we're gonna take those. Now we're actually gonna go visit our ender quarry right quick, at where I've got it sitting right now. Has not been idle. Whoops. Are you kidding me, game? So I have uh, cordoned off an area over here. And got myself a little setup so I can run my ender quarry on a very massive area. And now, since we've got a couple of upgrades here, let's stick. No, that does not go there. So there's the speed upgrade. There's the silk touch upgrade. Block the water back off. Hook the dynamo back up. Give the dynamo some fuel. There we go. Dynamo is being fed fuel. And the quarry is now running. And it's running fast. It will probably outpace anything I can do to keep up with it at this point. It will be very interesting to see just how well it works. But basically, so the quarry is excavating this area. Now, the area that I'm excavating is actually larger than what my world anchor can handle. And this is one of the areas that I'm considering building the base in. I'm just not sure it's going to be large enough for what I'm planning to build. But you can tell each time that it finishes off an area because it replaces the stone with some dirt, which has become grass. So that's pretty cool. So right now, it's chewing through dirt a lot faster than this thing can keep up with it. And the good thing is, is that now we're bringing in uh, actual silk-touched ores instead of breaking them down. So when I when I go to process things, they'll get processed appropriately now. So here it is, it's just picking up stone very quickly, a lot faster than I can probably process it out. Alright, so there's those upgrades. It's hard to see that in action because I don't have the world hole going. Um, let's see, I could probably... Do I have a chest on me? Let's see about the chest. Somewhere... I guess I don't have a chest at all. Suppose I could make a chest, but it doesn't seem really worth it. Anyway, it goes that thing will go about as fast as I can feed it power. And so the speed upgrade not really necessary and it's causing it to choose to chew up double the power, but it will be necessary soon. Once we get our nuclear reactors and everything rolling really well, uh, that's going to start to pay off massive dividends in terms of our ore yield. For now, just the fact that it's running and we got those upgrades on it is good enough. Next thing I want to do is I want to get knocked out an electric wrench because I've been needing one of those for a little bit now. It makes moving IC2 parts around much easier. So let's look at that real quick. An electric wrench right here. Now we made something very similar to this the other day. We're going to start off by making that bronze piece. So this and shift click and there's the bronze. Okay, that's done. Clear the grid. Next, we need to do this piece and this is our our age-old enemies, right? We, I know we've got most of this, but not definitely don't have all of it. So, right here. Nope, right here. Clear. Click. Load. Okay, we, let's see what we don't have. Uh, insulated. We're out of insulated, okay. Let's do wire. Uh, I'm sorry. Cable. There we go. So let's grab this guy. Clear the grid. Let's do rub. 
Oh, I'm out of rubber. Okay, that would make sense. Do I have any rubber in the extractor? No, I'm actually completely out of rubber. That's good enough. All right, we need to get some rubber going. So let's see, do we have any furt? Nope, but I know we got bone. Yep. All right, let's go get us some rubber. So we want this, and then this, and then we can just do this. That's odd. Oh yeah, good. It has to go here. Don't worry, I'm not throwing that stuff on the ground for long. It's just temporary. Alright, now I can do it. I need to just start planting uh, rubber trees in mass because I'm using up so much rubber. That's good. Let's get out of here. Ruba. Extra Ruba. Smash it. Alright, so we will have rubber soon. Soon, soon. Rub. Right there. So we'll grab those out. And that. And those. And those. Okay, let's try this again. Click it. Nope. I, iron rod. Oh yeah, I pulled all my plates out. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab... Oh, I had a creeper come in my base today and blow out this wall and take out so much crap it wasn't even funny. Books, potion racks, everything <clears throat> went flying everywhere. Was not a happy guy, let me tell you. Alright, so look, that's part of why I've got so much crap in my bags this time. That's compared to all the other times when I just have a lot of crap in my bags. That's how it goes, yo. Alright, smash those. Let me have those. No. Let me have them. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Clickety clackety. Don't talk backity. Uh, I know I have everything now. What the crap? Insulated. Where did all? The, we just made a whole bunch of that insulated cable. Where did it go? It's in my inventory. That's why I can't find it. You are a winner, JD. Let me tell you. Yep. 
They're a lizard heavy. All right, we want wrench, auto wrench. Okay, so we've got the circuit made. I have an RE battery made. We need to make this. Let me guess, no tin sheets, right? Oh, I actually have those, okay. What about these guys? One, can you do it again? Two, thank you. Can we do this now? Yes, we can. Sexy. Okay, you can go back to the return area. Close it out, big boy. All right, so I think with that said, we are ready to craft one of these. Minus the missing iron sheet, which is right there. Boom, so now we get our small power unit. Awesome. Take small power unit, combine it with this guy, we get this. Now, this is an electric wrench. I've got to charge it to be able to do anything with it. And I cannot use any of my current charging methods. So I will either need a bat box, um, a bat box, an MFE, an MFSU, something along these lines that can charge and store things for me. So I've got to decide which one of these things I actually want to make. Uh, the MFSU is actually useful to me. So I'm considering making another one of those. Plus, I think I already have some of the crystals laying around and stuff. The MFE is going to be a lot easier. Let me see. What are those things called again? Energy crystals. Inner. I've got two of them. Do I have any more? Yeah, there's one. There's two. So I could almost go for the MFSU, just not quite, and I'm not going to push in my luck right now. I'm just going to do the MFE and be done, because that makes life much easier. And I want to move on to upgrading my jetpack. So let's get that MFE knocked out. Oh, I may not get to the jetpack in this episode. I may actually do that offline, because it's not that big a deal. But where did it go? What am I looking for? I'm looking for an MFE. Right here. Okay. So we just need the basic machine casing. Cool. Pop that bad boy in. All right. Okay. I need some gold. I got three. I'm going to need at least one more of those. So clear this out. Recipe. Wiggity claggity. Okay. Back to MF. E. Let's do it. All right, so we got the gold on us. Once, twos, threes, and fours. This guy, inner. Three and four. Boom, there we go. MFE. All right. Now, your MFE, fortunately, can actually be charged just like any other. Uh, industrial craft machine using the MV wires or we could just set it right here directly on top of the uh, nuclear reactor remember put on your hazmat suit before you handle the stuff don't mess up JD boom swap that stuff out all right we still got nuclear stuff sitting around here somewhere right here and we got this guy sitting right here ready to be broken down that's a quad fuel rod move this into there Call fuel, quad fuel rod into the centrifuge. This is now running. This is now charging up. So now we can stick this electric wrench into here and it will charge it right up. And the sole 100% purpose of this thing is to be able to safely move the industrial craft machines. So for example, I have this extra compressor here. I can now right click it. I didn't do it right. Look at that. I sit here and I tell you guys about this stuff and I don't do it right. You have to set it into a mode, and I can't remember how to set that mode. Anyways, if you do it wrong, you get back a basic machine casing, but compressors are cheap, so I don't really care about that one. How do, I forgot how to set the mode on this. Hang on. How was electric wrench be the beast? I forgot how to change the mode. Give me a second.
Electric bridge is an electric range, blah, blah, blah. It can be charged using RE batteries. Lossless mode is the one we want. Holding M and right clicking, apparently. Hold on. Okay, I gotta go in here and change it. Alright, so go into your mod, or I'm sorry. Go into your options. Go into controls. We are looking for mode from Industrial Craft 2, right? Here, mode switch key. I set it to delete. Okay, delete. Delete? No? That's not doing it. Well, what the crap, man? Uh, I see two boost key, alt key, mode switch. Oh, uh, maybe I have to. Yeah, okay. Have to, so there you go. Lossless wrench mode is enabled. That's what we wanted. So let's recharge it. So the difference is I used almost no power to pick that item up. And let's just make it again right quick because that won't take very long. So put this back in here, pull out a circuit, compress or, oh come on. Stop hitting that key. There we go. So there's our compressor back. So now when it's in actual lossless mode, which you just, you can check, we want it enabled. It's gonna use a lot of power, but it's gonna actually pick up the machine, which is what we want. So that makes moving around all of our IC2 stuff much easier, especially when we're getting ready to do a base move. We can just bring it back in here and recharge it anytime we need to use it. Hoo-ya, very happy. That makes, that's awesome. All right, so the only thing that's left is upgrading the jetpack. And I'm gonna move this plutonium before I take off this suit. I've been stashing the plutonium somewhere, right there. We have enough plutonium to actually start making some real plutonium, which we can then use that to make, once we get enough of it, to make MOX nuclear fuel or pellets of RTG fuel. Uh-oh, and that lets us get to iridium and all kinds of fun stuff starts to happen. It's great. We can also use that to make the draconic chest which has a lot of usefulness to it. Anyways, guys, we got our QED made. We got some Ender Quarry upgrades made. We got our powered wrench made. Uh, the jetpack itself is still sitting right here on this, you know, armor stand. Let's uh, switch it. To upgrade this bad boy, we're gonna wanna go and turn it into a hardened jetpack. And that's gonna take us from having 25,000 RF to having 400,000 RF. To do this, We've already made everything you see here except for these hardened thrusters. Now the hardened thrusters are no big deal. It's kind of like, just like last time, we're going to use some hardened flux ducts, some invar, redstone, a reception coil. That's not hard. But the big part was this reactant dynamo because we couldn't get uranium before. Now that we can actually get uranium pieces, I can make these reactant dynamos. And that will allow me to upgrade the jetpack. Once you get that jetpack upgrade, you can actually go ahead and take the next step right on up and get 2 million RF. Uh, by going to a tier 3 jetpack because it's basically going to use the same exact reactant dynamo and everything else that we have here We've actually already made so I may do some upgrades to the jetpack off camera. I may wait and do it later I haven't decided we shall see But that's it for this episode as always guys if you liked it like it if you'd like to see more like it Hit that subscribe button if you want notifications of when I've got new videos out hit that little bell button Leave a comment let me know how I'm doing Come hang out with me on the stream. Be good to one another. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Laters.